I was kind of on the fence about it, but I'm just going to use the same team that I used with the Great Ball. I know, I know, I was thinking of maybe switching out Persian because I literally never used Persian, but who knows? Maybe I'll need them this time around. I raised my bug Pokemon carefully. Did you now? That's a funny looking uh, bug Pokemon in your fourth slot right there. Sparsy? Yeah. Well, um, it shouldn't be too difficult. It's just a bunch of bug Pokemon. Uh, I'll, I'll go with Houndoom even though my strongest move is Ember. But, uh, I probably should not be struggling against these Pokemon. You know, I'll bring Persian. Why not? Houndoom, Persian, Kadabra. Rogue didn't even bring a bug Pokemon first. Are you actually kidding me? You're just goofy. Well, maybe I can give you the flinchy flinch special. That did not do much damage. Yep, there it is, the flinch. Guys, that was not a flinch. Okay, it's time for Persian. This shouldn't do too much. The oh my attack. god, that did 27 damage. I thought it would do a little more. Okay, same strategy. We're just gonna go for flinches. <clears throat> I outspeed almost everybody. That also did not do much. They went for swagger. What's with the, the enemy going for swagger and like... Encore, Baton Pass, all these weird things out of nowhere. I don't want to stay in. I'm going to go to Kadabra. Psych up? Oh, I understand now. That's still stupid, but... I understand. <laughs> they go for swagger to confuse you, and then they copy your attack stat. So they're at double attack. Oh, I got a crit. Nice. Well, we're finally done with that annoying Pokemon. What kind of strategy was that? I just got done talking about this. Now we're seeing Psychop. Oh, it's Pinsir. They actually did add Fury Cutter in this game, but uh, Alakazam might- not Alakazam, Kadabra might live just because Fury Cutter is so weak. Oh, they're in for strength, okay. Well, I should live that. Yep. I'm always worried whenever I get hit on the physical side, because, you know, it's Kadabra. That was another Pokemon I was kind of uh, on the fence about, like, oh, huh, should I go with Kadabra or Pinsir? Not Pinsir! Kadabra or Alakazam, I mean. Pinsy! Can we get the 3 0? Uh, it, it looks like it, yes. Let's go to Houndoom, just to make sure. No idea what these Pokemon do nowadays. If this was like Pokemon City 1, he'd be going for like Psychic or Stun Spore or something like that. Gust? That was your answer? Oh my god. Okay, well, Ember does suck and it's horrible, but... Oh, what, they're faster? Unbelievable. How is Butterfree faster than my Houndoom? Uh-oh, it fell asleep. Alright. <clears throat> New plan. You're sleep fodder. We're going to Persian. I can't believe Butterfree's faster than Houndoom. Unless they have like a Quick Claw or something. That was sad. 
I would imagine it's going to take three headbutts to take him out. Yeah. Oh, they flinched. Nice, nice. That's what I like to see. They definitely have a quick claw. That did nothing. I hate how it doesn't tell you when the quick claw procs. So then you're up to, you know, you have to use your own imagination, huh? Did they have a quick claw? I don't know what their base speed is. It's it's dumb. But yeah, absolutely no shot in hell that Butterfree is faster than Persian. Buttery. Well, for uh, the first trainer, it wasn't hard, but it took longer than I thought it would. Switching around, putting people to sleep, confusing me. Made things longer than it should have been. Oh, you've got water types. Oh, and they have a Magneton. Well, I don't have any grass Pokemon. Grass would be perfect right here. I guess I'll bring Raikou, but I need somebody for this Quagsire. And I'm thinking probably Seedra. And then, uh, Kadabra. Although, oh man, I don't know. That, uh... That Magneton could be a problem. And you know what? I'm gonna do something crazy. I'm gonna bring Dawn Fan to this battle. Yeah, Dawn Fan. I'm not even joking. Ooh, that's a water type. I'm gonna hit you with Spark now. We're gonna find out if they have... Okay, they're switching. I hope they brought Magneton. No! Oh my god, this Quagsar is level 54. Yeah, that's not good because... If it was Magneton, this would probably would have been a clean 3-0. But now I gotta find a way to kill this thing. Now, if they brought Quagsire and Magneton, I don't know what to say. I didn't pay attention to the levels of these Pokemon. I need to start doing that. Yeah, I figured you'd go for a ground move. That shouldn't do too much. I hope Dawn Fan is faster. I really, really hope so. I am, okay. So I can get some damage on this thing. I might be able to live whatever it wants to do. That was a decent hit, Surf. Oh no, I think I'm dead. Yeah. Well, that was kind of a waste. Well, we've got Kadabra. But I really don't think I can kill with Psychic. And I, I think they can kill me with, um, with what's it called? Earthquake. I w oh, man, maybe I should have went for Reflect right there. Yeah, he barely lived. Earthquake, oh, no. Yeah, I probably should have went for Reflect. Please, Kadabra, live. No, he's dead. Yeah, I'm getting swept by a Quagsire. His name is Quagmire. Look at that. <laughs> it's Quagmire. Okay, certainly a quick attack from my Raikou will kill you, right? Please! Oh my god, that barely killed him. Finally, dude! That was a strong Pokemon! Earthquake and Surf! Okay. All they have left is Dugong and Kabutops. I think I can win this battle. Nice, nice. Okay, that's a two-hit kill. What are they going for? 
It went for rain dance? Oh, you silly, silly goose. I think it's Jover for you. Unless your Kabutops can somehow one-hit me. Uh, no, no, no. You're still dead, even with that berry. Yeah, that barely killed him, too. It's over? Yep, abilities don't exist. But I know your Kabutops doesn't have, like, Swift Swim or something. This is also going to be a two-hit kill for sure. Surf. I have to live that. It's Kabutops. He has very low special attack. Man, even with the rain up, you can't even two-hit kill me. That's sad. Well, GG's. We were on the ropes right there. Because of that freaking Quagsire. Or should I say Quagmire. Yeah, I don't- I need to pay attention to their levels, seriously. Because if they had, like, Magneton- Like, if it was possible to have Quagsire and Magneton, um, I would have been in big, big trouble. Okay, I'm gonna start paying attention now. Oh, this is the hiker guy. He should be easy, too. He has an Ammonite. <laughs> Okay, you- oh dear god, he has two level 55s. Dawn Fan and Steelix, so he can't have both, but he's most likely gonna have one of them, so I need Seedra for sure in this battle. Um... I think I'll- yeah, I'll start with Seedra. Seedra has pretty good defense. Yeah, 125 is nothing bad. Definitely not bringing Raikou. No, we're not bringing Persian. I guess my own Dawn fan wouldn't be bad, and then... Hmm. I don't think it'll come to it, but I'll also bring Kadabra. Hmm. Yeah, I guess. Water would be really good, but I only have one water type. So hopefully they don't start with Ursa Ring, because I, I need Seedra to kill, like, their ground types and stuff. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. It should already be GG's. Oh yeah, for sure. We, we're already way too far ahead now. E. Golem. That's his name. <laughs> uh huh, no problem, no problem at all. Um, I am going to win the battle for sure, but, um, you know, I'll tell you what, I have a lot of defense. Wait, actually, uh, no, no, I'm going to switch to Dawn Fan. Dawn Fan has even more defense, and I should be able to two at that Ursa Ring for sure. Either way, I can win the battle for sure. I'm just trying to get the 3-0 if I can help it. Oh, man! I did not see that coming, but it's a good thing I switched. Even though I know Ursa Ring's special is pretty low, but so is Seedra's special defense. What the? Defense curl. I did not see that coming. Yeah, well, now he is probably going to live two of them. Yeah, okay. Well, no problem with me. You know it would be crazy if this Ursa Ring went for rollout? I have to build up the defense. Oh, okay. You know, I think there's a hidden mechanic, if you can believe it. And don't quote me on it, but I think it's like... If you go for defense curl, it'll boost your rollout damage. Or something crazy like that. He might live another earthquake. Depending on what he goes for. Oh yeah, he's gonna live another one. I don't know why you're not attacking. Well, I mean, you're at plus three defense, but for what? How did I just go f 
What? Maybe it's a speed tie. I really doubt he has a quick claw. That was so strange. Like, I don't... The AI in this game behaves a lot differently than the first game. Like, you would never, ever, ever see a Pokemon. Oh, it's Steelix. You would never, ever, ever see a Pokemon Ultra Ball difficulty going for Defense Curl. So, considering you're Steelix, I think you're going to die in two just because I'm Dawn fan. I'm super strong. Alright, I was wrong. Steelix is a Giga Chad. He's also going for Defense Curl. What is... Is that like your whole strat? Was that what Golem was going for on the first turn as well? Um, okay. I don't really care. There's nothing you can do to me. Screech. What is going on? <laughs> okay, you lowered my defense sharply. Now what? Now what you ask? Now now it's GG's. Goodbye. You you literally did zero damage to me the whole game. This reminds me of that one battle in the Great Ball. On the the fifth trainer. It was that one teacher and she had like baton pass. So she, she got an agility and double team up and was baton passing all around. But she didn't do anything with it. She would just baton pass back and forth. But she never attacked me. That's what happened right there. It's okay. I'm sure there's going to be a huge power spike right now. Like the Pokeball difficulty, which is these exact same trainers, because it alternates. You know, Poke and Ultra and then Great and Master. Dude, I remember there was a huge power spike right here at this fourth trainer. Things got hard. I think I lost to this guy in the Pokeball. He had a Porygon back then. Now he's got a Porygon too. Oh, he's got Wobbuffet. You're disgusting. Uh, I think I'm... Uh, uh, I don't like your team. Your team makes me not happy. Hmm. I think I want Dawnfan on this team because I think it'd be very good for Ampharos and actually Wobbuffet because my Dawnfan happens to know Sandstorm, so I could use that to whittle him down. Now I need some Pokemon for the rest of his team. Um, I think I'll go with... Hmm. We're definitely bringing Dawn Fan. I guess a Raikou, you know. They've got three electric weaknesses and then Dawn Fan. Um, I'm not bringing Persian. Seedra's not too bad. But I think Kadabra would be better just because he does a lot of damage. Alright, that's the team. Perfect. Dude, I remember in Gen 1, Tentacruel was... He was strong. And I noticed in this generation, you know, because of the special split, he actually has quite a bit of special defense. Not too much special attack, though, so he, he might take two sparks. Let's find out. And he's level 52. Oh, I paralyzed him. Yeah, so he is actually going to take two of them. Oh, no, he broke through and he hit me with Toxic. Dodge it. No, I didn't dodge it. That makes me sad. Well, this is another thing. And, and Stadium 1, dude, you, you wouldn't really ever see a Tentacruel doing this. They went... Oh, they've got a Quick Claw. They have a Quick Claw, that's disgusting. Wouldn't it make sense to give a Quick Claw to a really slow Pokemon? Isn't Tentacruel, like, fast? Um, I'm actually tempted to go for a Quick Attack just because... No, I am. Yeah. I took out that Quagsire earlier. Oh, they went for Protect! Oh, it's not a Quick Claw. He just... He's being that guy right now. Uh, okay, so you are actually certified to cringe. Uh, I guess I'll just stay in. He's probably gonna do it again. Fail, fail, fail. Nope, he got it. Oh my god. Oh, 
You know what? I've had enough of your shenanigans. I'm switching. Gonna go to Cadaver. This way we can maybe lure in a possible Ampharos or Wobbuffet. And oh my god, I forgot to remember the levels of the Pokemon. I'll let him go for Toxic. No, okay, perfect. Thunder Punch. Yeah, I kind of wasted like 30 HP on my Raikou. I knew he was going to go for Protect. I don't even know why I risked that. That was a dumb thing. Hopefully that 30 HP doesn't come back to bite me. Perfect! <laughs> I mean, well, I, I don't know. This guy's weird. He might be, this guy might also be a toxic stalling mon. So I could switch in a Dawn fan and get poisoned as well. Well, uh, but if I stay in, I won't really be getting anywhere fast. So I'm just going to go into it. I really hope you're not toxic stall with all six of your Pokemon. If so, you, you're, you're cringe. Like you're already certified cringe. You don't want to level up to Grammy winning cringe. Double team. You're getting there. You're getting really close to that Grammy winning level, dude. You have no respect for this game. Oh, man. Oh, he switched. Okay. Oh, probably Skarmory. Yeah. Oh, brother. See, this is when Raikou would be good. Well, what, what is this thing going to do? I'm gonna go to Raikou. Mori Scar, that's the name of this Scar Marine. That's a pretty cool name, man. Hmm. What? What? Do you even have any attacking moves on your whole entire team? So I actually do need Raikou and Kadabra to kill this thing. Um, Dawn Fan can't really do much other than Rapid Spin, but that's gonna do like two damage. So I do need to get rid of Skarmory sooner than later. Steel Wing, uh oh, that did a lot of damage. Okay, thank God he didn't switch. I'm willing to give up my Kadabra to get some damage on this thing. I did a good amount. What is he doing? Oh, he flew up in the air? What the heck is going on this battle? Well, I can live that and then hit him with Spark and kill him. Hopefully he doesn't switch. Like, please, for the love of God, do not switch. Looks like that 30 HP might, uh... Well, I don't think I'll need it, but it would have made me feel a little more comfortable. I've only got 34 left. Thank God he stayed in. Okay, perfect. That should be a 3-0. I can just go to a Dawn Fan, click Earthquake. That's it. Dude, your, your team's not good. It's just really disgusting. I've seen this trend as well in this game. Like, a lot of the difficult battles, they're just... They just do stupid things. Like, I remember in the Challenge Cup, that lab scientist guy. Double team, double team, double team. Like, are you kidding me? What happened to just raw damage? Remember the Psychic in the first game? All that guy would do is have six Psychic types, and they would all know Psychic. It was nice and simple. Why did your Ampharos just... Oh, I guess you're trying to kill Raikou. Oh, that's good for me. Now I don't have to worry about a double team. Wait, maybe I do. I don't know who's faster. Oh, God. Please, Dawn fan. Don't make this battle drag out. I really don't like this guy. Woo! Done with that garbage. There goes the battle! Thank God for Dawn Fan. Imagine if we didn't have Dawn Fan, like... Dawn Fan is literally one of the best Pokemon, I think, for rentals in the Poke Cup. I don't know what he knows in the Prime Cup, I haven't touched that yet. 
but I mean, stab Earthquake with that high of an attack stat and pretty good defense too. Not pretty good, really good. He's just kind of slow and has bad special defense. Wait a sec, I think this trainer likes to use attract. Okay, so we have a 53 mil tank. Okay, so he, they can have any combination except they cannot have both mil tank and Wigglytuff. Hopefully they pick Wigglytuff. Miltank is disgusting. I hate that Pokemon. Um, could bring Raikou just so I can one-shot this Mantine. Oh, we don't have any ice moves for this Jumpluff. Well, usually when I see a bunch of normal types, I like to bring Donphan. Because Donphan just does pretty good against them. I'll bring Raikou for this Mantine. And then I guess Kadabra just for raw damage, I suppose. I'm pretty sure normal types are uh, not quite as good as they were in Gen 1, like Psychic types, but they're uh, still really good because they added Steel types. They added Dark and Steel types to, you know, help with this uh, problem we had in Generation 1. Oh, thank God, we have Wigglytuff. I, you know, what's been scary is if that thing, if the Mill Tank knew Milk Drink. Okay, they switched, so they most likely have. You probably could guess it, a Flying type. Please be Man Time. Nice. Paka. That's fine because now we're gonna go into Raikou, and I would imagine they're just gonna stay in, and I'm gonna click Spark, and they're gonna die a painful death. Surf. Hmm. That might do like 60. Oh, 51. Please don't switch out. Nice. They stayed in like a fool. That thing lived. That's four times weak. Oh, yeah. I think Mantine has a lot of special defense. You just went for a blizzard? What? Uh, okay. That's kind of strange, but I'll take it. Okay, down goes Mantine. Man, <laughs> so many Pokemon in Generation 2 that were added are just bad. Um, I guess I'll go to Donphan. I know, Body Slam, yep. This is why Generation 1 was a painful place. And they paralyzed me. I would act like I'm shocked, but I'm not. I'm really, really not. They just switched? They have Jump Luff as well? Oh my god, I hate you. What are the odds of that? Well, actually, I do know the odds. It's about 50-50, because they had four other Pokemon. These are the two that they got. I was thinking of going for Sandstorm as well. Okay, I'm gonna go to Kadabra. Hopefully I can take this thing out in two Psychics. I'm aware Jumpluff is extremely fast though. It went for a track. Oh, I'm- okay, perfect, perfect, perfect! I didn't even see that coming, I forgot. That's- that's this trainer's gimmick. Did they just... They switched. Um... Okay. Let's see how much that does. Oh man, special defense drop- No man, if I got that I could've killed it. Back to Dawn fan. Pokemon 
What not? The hit plant right off. Brother, I'm gonna go for Sandstorm. And go ahead. Do, do all your switching that you need to do. This person really likes to switch. You know what I just remembered in Generation 1? This person switched all the time, too. She was in the Poke Cup. She did so much switching. She was the trainer that would have rock and ground types. Okay, well, I'm guessing you're just going to go for Attract. So we're going to do this whole thing all over again, but uh, I should be triumphant this time around. I shouldn't have to do any more switching. I just have to spam Psychic and that's it. Yep, that's a wasted turn. Okay, let's see how much Psychic does. They just switched. Alright, man, you do what you gotta do. I th you're dead to Sandstorm. Was it worth it? Tell me. You must be joking. Yeah, you didn't think I'd set up a Sandstorm. It didn't even matter. I was going to outspeed anyway. Hmm. I thought I would do more than that. Oh, Stun Spore. You're disgusting. Dodge it. Come on, Kadabra. Yes, just like Pokemon Showdown. Oh, yeah. This thing's doing some damage. Goodbye. Well, it was uh, meticulous, but we got the 3-0. There are no more remaining Pokemon. You must be joking. It was pretty clutch, though, how my Kadabra was male. Because they were trying to attract my Dawn fan. Yeah, if Kadabra got attracted, this whole battle... We might have lost, like, actually. <laughs> Attraction is so annoying. Oh, I've got four continues. I'm doing pretty good. The burglar. Oh, this guy beat me in the Poke Cup too, if you can believe that. Yep, I got three fire types. Doug Trio, Stantler, and Gligar. Huh. 251s. Macargo, Gligar. Okay, okay. So Typhlosion and Houndoom work with any combination. Which means we are absolutely just mathematically speaking. I have to fight one of them for sure. Um, we Yeah, we need Seedra for sure. I'm, I'm just starting with Seedra. And then I think uh, Dawnfan would be smart. Now I just need somebody else for Gligar. I'll, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll go with Kadabra. Perfect. I mean, well, actually, the perfect one would have been Macargo. Let's see what they do. They are faster. Oh, Crunch. I hope that isn't two hit me. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Yep, there goes my special defense. Uh, please one hit this Pokemon. I would really appreciate that. Oh, he lived! Oh, dear God! That's bad! Okay, uh... That changes everything. This Houndoom is a massive problem. Because he'll kill... Oh my god, I think we're gonna lose right now. Yeah, I think this trainer just beat me already on turn one. 
I have to hope that Dawn Fan can live two crunches, but I don't think they can. Wait, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. We barely, barely, barely survived that. You know what? I'm gonna go for Sandstorm. Wait, uh, what's Flamethrower's base power? Oh my god. Uh, I'm guessing it's stronger than Crunch. Yeah, it's it's over. Unless, wait, maybe Kadabra's faster. I don't know. If that Houndoom is faster, we we will. Yeah, we'll, it'll just clean up with Crunch. Oh wow, we're faster. Okay. Well, sacrifices had to be made, so we're still in this. But holy smokes, dude! Houndoom. This is an extremely strong, powerful, disgusting Pokemon that the enemy can have. Well, not really disgusting, but very, very good offensively. Typhlosion? I think I can two at you with a Psychic. Am I faster? I am, okay. And I should be able to live any of your fire moves. Oh my god, I can't. Flame Wheel. See, if you knew Flamethrower, this would be a, a way different story. How come that Houndoom was like insane, but now your Typhlosion knows Flame Wheel of all things? Nice, eating that up for breakfast. So, um, it could be any of their last four Pokemon, because these were the two level 51s. So, Gligar we can beat. Doug Tr oh, if it's Doug Trio, I think we lost. Macargo we can beat, and I, don't, I forgot who the other guy was. We lost. GG's everyone, pack up your bags. It is Jover. Magnitude. Nine, oh my god. That's gonna kill like five Kadabras. Well, the only way we win this, uh, cause Seedra does have decent defense, um, but I only have 45 health. They need to get a very low roll on this magnitude. Cause I can definitely one-shot them with Surf, I just, I don't think I'm gonna live. Yeah, I'm dead. And they got a crit. Curses. Yeah, that Houndoom is insane! Like, it already did a bunch to Seedra, but I thought we were gonna, like, I don't know, live? Or, or not live, but, uh, make that thing die in one hit? Bye bye So, that's the second time I've lost to this dude. Because that Houndoom... I don't even know if I want to bring the same Pokemon again. That This Houndoom is way too much. I'm thinking of honestly starting with Dawnfan, just in case they do that. And that is what I chose to do in, in the matter of two seconds. I made the split second decision. I I hope you start with Hound Doom. That is a weird looking Hound Doom. Well, that's okay. This is still a good matchup for me, right? Mud Slap. Okay. Sure. I mean, you got the accuracy draw, but I. Don't think I'm gonna miss. Hang on, oh, that's I hate you. Both you are so useless, Dawn fan. Well, for some reason they're not going for magnitude. I would have just stopped after the first mud slap. See, I might be able to one at this thing because Doug Trio has terrible defense and just no bulk to it. Oh my god, dude. I hate trainers that do this. They drop your accuracy. They use double team. Oh, now they're trying to kill me. Magnitude 4. Good. That's what you get. That crit did like... Your your mud slaps did more damage than that. With the crit. 
I didn't even know it would do that little. Come on, Dog Band! Three earthquakes! This one's gonna be higher than four. Oh, okay. Well, it did six damage, but I'll tell you what, six is more than zero. Come on, Dawn Fan, do something. I'm actually about to have an aneurysm right now. Four earthquakes. Oh, that one's gonna hurt. Okay, never mind, it didn't really hurt much. Dude. That's five! Please! Oh my god. You're, you're making me age so so much right now. Magnitude seven. I'm getting away with like metaphorical. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. I'm holding my breath. Please kill this thing. <laughs> oh! Uh, ooh, that's eight. Okay, Dawn fan, just land the earthquake. Wow, that was the easiest Doug Trio I've ever defeated. So easy. I'm so glad that my Dawn fan's gonna die to literally anything that comes in, like this Typhlosion, for example. Goodbye, Dawn fan. See, you could have gotten an earthquake off on this thing and killed it in one hit for sure, but you can't because you only have 30 HP, so you're gonna die. And you get outsped by uh, everything. Well, we've been in this scenario already, so he can have. Oh, he can have any other Pokemon. Um, I'm gonna go out into Kadabra. I hate my Dawn fan, I hate their Doug Trio, I hate that trainer. I don't quite hate the game just yet though, but I feel like I'm getting there. Did you just It's Hound Doom, it's Hound Doom, it's Hound Doom. I should have went for Thunder Punch. Oh Oh I think we're gonna lose. The only way, literally the only way we win this is I have to actually paralyze them with Thunder Punch. Or maybe, maybe I could, oh my god. I could drop his accuracy with Kinesis, that's what I'm going for. Give him his own mud slap treatment. Okay, I don't know why that's an 80 accuracy move. Please miss your crunch. Please, I missed five earthquakes. Oh, thank you so much. Why would you miss? I had to risk it for the biscuit on an 80 accuracy move that drops your accuracy and you just, you know, landed it, no problem. Okay, well, we're already in the hole. So I'm gonna hope that... Oh, you, oh my god. I'm going for Dragon Breath and maybe I can paralyze this thing. The best scenario is they miss and I paralyze them. They did not miss. Oh, I need to paralyze them. I did not paralyze them. Okay, so he has to miss or we lose. So, how are you going to look me in the eyes and tell me that my Dawn fan missed five earthquakes? But you just literally landed all your attacks, no problem. Cleaned me up. Let's see, uh, dude, you're becoming my new most hated trainer. No other trainer has defeated me three times. This is the only this is the only guy I think that's beaten me twice, like in the whole game ever. And he's just beat me three times. And he beat me twice in this run alone. Odd oh, man, like what do I have to do?
You know who would actually be good here that I don't have? Probably Suicune. Suicune knows Bubble Beam, which isn't very good, but it should be able to two hit that Houndoom, and he has like 130 special defense, so I don't die to Houndoom. But I don't have Suicune, instead I have Raikou. What's your special defense? Oh, it's actually pretty high. But, you, but the guy has two crown types, man. That's so crazy. Maybe... Is this what I have to do? Do I have to actually bring Raikou? Okay. Yep. I'm leaving Kadabra behind. I'm, I'm leading off with Raikou. I'm not even joking. The biggest threat on his team is uh, the Gligar. Well, okay. I think I can actually just... Um... Um... You know what? I'm gonna stay in. Maybe I can paralyze him with Spark. They, they have... Okay, they have either Dugtrio or Gligar. Which isn't really that shocking, but still kind of inconvenient. Doug Trio, that's probably, yeah, that's the better of the two, for me at least. <sighs> so? In the event... Wait, actually, maybe I should go to Cedra. No, 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 no. I have to go to Dawn Fan because if he also has Gligar and my Seedra goes down, we just lose by default. I feel like he's going to have that disgusting Houndoom again. You should add that Houndoom level 52, bro. Please don't be... Sh that was magnitude 10. You know, that wasn't too bad. But, uh, I'm not gonna lie, it is very annoying that he's gonna live in Earthquake. Okay, so he's not going for Mud Slap. Oh my god, he got Magnitude 9. Bro. Okay, maybe I'll get a good roll or a crit or something. God, he lived with 2 HP. Oh my god, please be a low roll. Okay, perfect, I can live that. That did 15 damage. I went for Rapid Spin, by the way. Watch out, a Rapid Spin. Oh, I got a crit. That totally mattered. So we got Typhlosion and some kind of Mystery Mon. Hmm. I know, I know. I could go to Cedra. It's just that after the Flame Wheel, I, yeah, after the next few attacks, if he has Houndoom, he can kill my Cedra in one hit. Each other and then, oh god, I don't know. I'm just gonna let him kill me. I'm not happy about it, but I'm going to let it happen. So now I'm going to go into Raikou, actually. Because I need Seedra to stay alive for, like, Macargo and possibly Gligar. And then, uh, if my Raikou can simply beat this Typhlosion in 1v1, if Houndoom comes out... Um, I don't know if I'm faster, but I'll go for quick attack anyway, and then I should be able to one-hit it with Surf. Okay, I did decent damage. He... Buried underground. That's okay. Uh, Seedra has a good amount of defense, and I know I can outspeed him for sure because he's paralyzed, and I'll take him out with a, um... With a, what whatever it's called. And Dig is very weak in this game. I'm surprised they even give it out to these Fire-type Pokemon anymore. Before, oh, he got paralyzed. Perfect. I think we're going to win for sure now. I don't think they have any outs. Like, at all. Ride that surf. I'm 
still thinking about how I missed five earthquakes in a row. I'm gonna have to make that a short. Okay, and here it comes. It's Houndoom. Well, actually, I did just think of a way they could win. They could crit me right now with Crunch, and then, you know, just crit me with Raikou, and then I die. Alright, they did not crit me, so that's GG's. Man, he has just enough special defense to live a hit. Just enough bulk. And I think the strongest water type attack would be... that At least um, from the rental Pokemon, obviously. I think it's Slowbro. It also knows Surf like uh, Seedra. But it has three more special attack. But I think... Houndoom could probably one-hit Slowbro. Oh, Raikou's faster. Cool. Okay, GG's. Unless you got a focus ban or something crazy. Alright, zero health. GG's. Alright, make no mistake. I'm on, like, full alert if I ever see the opponent with a Houndoom after this experience. Because Fire and Dark is, like, I think perfect coverage. I don't think there's a single Pokemon that can resist both. No, 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 there is. There's Tyranitar. But Tyranitar sucks. At least for the rental Pokemon, it sucks. So I'm never ever going to use Tyranitar. So basically, yeah, nobody can resist both of them. Which is not good. Well, finally, we got to that guy. <laughs> Which is kind of scary, because uh, apparently these next two trainers are, are supposed to be even harder. I think he had a Deli Bird last time, too. And a Sneasel, because those are the only Ice types. So he has... 352s, 351s. He's got the EV Lucians, the Gen 1s. Um, I don't really like Dawn Fan, but I think I should bring Dawn Fan to absolutely choose, or yeah, choose to cheese Jolteon. Raikou's looking really good here. I'm going to start with Raikou. We'll bring Dawn Fan for the Jolteon. So Raikou can beat those three. Dawn fan for those guys, and now I just need like like a flex pick. I don't think I need to do anything crazy. Ah, <sighs> maybe Cedra. I don't know. Hound Doom is good, but like the their Ice type Pokemon are just weak, so I don't really need to bring Hound Doom. There is also Kadabra, so uh. The thing is, though, I don't want to get super complacent with that Sneasel. Wait, but if they go for, like, Faint Attack... I have 100 Special Defense, so I think I could live that and hit him with a Thunder Punch. Hmm. Tell you what, I'm gonna bring Kadabra. Let's just see what happens. Their biggest threat to my current team would be Sneasel, funny enough. But I don't think it's gonna be a problem. I'm just... Glad to be done with that last trainer, the Burglar. Oh, they start off with Sneasel. Okay. Well, I guess this is my best Pokemon for dealing with the situation. So let's see what happens. They went for Shadow Ball. Well, that's not Stab. Nice. Wait a second. That lowers your special defense? That's so stupid because... Shadow Ball is a physical attack in this game, so you can... I mean, watch, you just did 47 damage to me, so you're going to do probably about another 47 right there. Eh, I think that was a roll. Whatever. I'm just sad that I didn't get any paralysis after those two sparks. Well, I'm going to live the next one. I do think a Shadow Ball from Sneasel would... Yeah, I think it would do more to my Kadabra than if it were to use Faint Attack. Well, um, Sneasel just sucks in general, but, I mean, it did do some work for this guy. Who's next? Flareon. Um... Um... Well, here's the thing. 
Uh, I'm thinking of going to Dawn Fan because, like, if it's like, uh, it's because of these water types that they have, like Vaporeon, Blastoise, that could come back to give me a big problem. Cause I don't, I don't think, I don't want to risk Kadabra. Yeah, I don't know if Kadabra can beat those guys in a one v one. You know what? Let's just see what happens. I'm gonna stay in. We're gonna go for Spark. This guy's name is Air Flare. We gotta paralyze, but that did. Wait, no, no, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah, they went for Headbutt. That's why I was debating to go to Dawn Fan, but I, I was expecting a fire move. But then I was like, oh, well, Flareon has low special, so it's not a big deal. But then I was afraid of getting burned. It was a whole debacle in my mind a second ago, but that just simplifies everything because you don't have any flying types and you're paralyzed now, so... Now I'm a thousand percent confident I'm going to go first and one-shot you right now. And switching won't save you. Oh, they switch. Nice. So now you're going to take a million damage. They have to have either Blastoise or Vaporeon. What? I... I'm going to be honest. I forgot this Pokemon even existed. Huh. Is Delibird going to clutch this battle? Let's find out. I'm expecting an ice move, right? Because I'm a ground type. So, this shouldn't do too much to Kadabra. Oh, they went for Blizzard. Um, I'm in big trouble right now. Well, I'm gonna go for Thunder Punch. Let's see how much this does. Oh, dude, that might have just clutched me the whole battle. He lived with one health! No, he has a Miracle Berry? What? Is I think a Miracle Berry is like a Lumberry. It was the original Lumberry. Okay, so I was really happy right there. But, uh... As you can tell, one, he obviously didn't have a focus band, so he literally lived on one health. Two, I paralyzed him, but he cured it anyway. And three, I think he's faster than me, so if he hits me with Blizzard, I'm just going to lose the battle. All I got to do is hit him with Rapid Spin. Yeah, he's faster. I have to dodge this or I lose. I can't believe that. I just lost to a Delibird. Wow. That is so crazy. So, I mean, I didn't think he'd have Blizzard, so... It didn't guarantee me the win, but what would have been a safer strategy... Man, I'm running out of continues. What would have been safer is if I just let my dawn fan die right there and then go into out or cadabra and then thunder punch him and then i would i would live with like 40 health or whatever and then i'd be up against that flareon so i couldn't kill flareon but um i could get a crit or they could get paralyzed and that was my win chance but yep they didn't miss any blizzards so i'm i'm just in shock that i just lost to a sneasel and a delibird what do you know maybe maybe they are good maybe i'm missing something here Which is kind of why I wanted to bring, like, Seedra. Well, if if Sneasel knows Shadow Ball, then Seedra should be good against that guy. I don't think I can 2-hit Sneasel, though, with a Surf. After those... After what I saw with those Smarks with, uh, Raikou. I don't I I like Raikou, but, like... I think I want Seedra to resist, the, uh, to take out basically two of these Pokemon. But then that Jolteon's really scary. Hmm. Okay, this time I'm gonna start with Raikou as well. I'm bringing Dawn Fan so that I can check that Jolteon and. He can hit somebody, hopefully. And I brought Seedra. 
Dawn Fan's kind of risky because it's it's a very, very high risk, high reward thing. Because if they have Jolteon like they do right here, then we're good. We're A-OK. -okay. I get a free kill and then I can hurt somebody else. But if they didn't have Jolteon, then I uh, basically I'm gonna die. They went for Toxic. Um. Okay, what are you going to do now? Is the question. Oh, bite. Okay, Dawnfin, just please don't flinch, and we should be okay. Nice. Don't have a focus band. Okay, we are off to an extremely good start. It's, that's about as good as it'll... Yeah, it, it, it couldn't have been any better. So I, I think somebody's just going to come in and one-shot me right now. Like that, like that Pokemon right there. Well, Jolteon's dead, so I can safely bring in Raikou after this and just go for a million sparks. Oh, I'm dead. Ride that surf. <laughs> if Jolteon got like... Like two flinches in a row, I think I would have... No, not think. I definitely would have lost this whole entire battle for sure. Without a doubt. Yeah, so Vaporeon is like the tankiest thing known to man. So, uh, we're going to need three sparks here for sure. Yep. Oh, they're staying and going for Surf. That might two-hit me, actually. Okay, okay. Raikou has a lot of special defense. Thank God! Oh, oh brother. This trainer is really hard. Hey, I paralyzed him. And it didn't matter. I wonder how the critical hit ratios work in this game. Okay, well, I thought I had the battle last time, and then that Delbird showed up, and I totally forgot it existed. But I do know it exists now, and I think I'm good. I don't think they're... Yeah. Blastoise, Sneasel, Delibird, Flareon. Yeah. Yeah, I, I win. I have to win. Um... Yeah, so... Oh, I messed up. I should've went for Quick Attack. I'm so dumb. Hopefully that doesn't matter. Nice crit. Yeah, critical hit, Groovy! Yeah, I, I literally forgot that Sneasel is faster than the speed of light. Uh, but I, I do think Seedra can 1v1 this thing. Let's see how much Surf does. If we're lucky, it's a two-hit kill. I don't think we'll be that lucky. Shadow Ball shouldn't do much. Oh, man. Yummy. Oh, it is a two-hit kill. Nice. It might be a roll, but you should die. That did little damage. A sharp attack. Hit, that was good. What? It hung on by the skin of its I don't see a focus band. What? What is going on? What? Oh, don't you dare crit me! Please. The, the quick attack mattered, guys. It mattered. It mattered. It mattered. Okay, they didn't crit me. Oh, please. Uh, I went for Dragon Breath in case they have a focus band. Oh. I guess they actually just lived with 1 HP. I'm just getting really unlucky today. Wow. The heart rate got really high when I saw 1 health right there. That's messed up. Like, I had an amazing lead there, and I still barely won this battle. His team doesn't even look that strong. He had Sneasel and Delibird. Are you kidding me? Okay, we got two shots to defeat this final trainer. Please, for the love of God. Oh, it's you! The trainer hates you! 
Bro followed me from Pokemon Stadium 1! Oh, yeah, they have a smear. What the? You only have two psychic types. Okay, so let me look at these levels here. I might be seeing things, but I swear that Smeargle has blue paint on his tail, and I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be green, but I guess his is built different. Maybe it's because of the, the color scheme in this game. Anyway, I think I need Houndoom because of these psychics, right? I don't think that's a hot take. Um, Dawn fan? Well, I t oh, you know what I just thought of? And I don't know the answer to this. I don't know if Raichu can learn Surf or not. Oh, man. I, hold, I still think I'll bring him anyway. Because of, you know, Arcanine. He should do just overall okay. Um, so, Houndoom, Dawn Fan. Now I need somebody else. They have four special attackers, and then they have Kangaskhan. Well, I guess Arcanine's kind of a hybrid. But they have this Smeargle. I've never battled Smeargle in this game before. They all have items too, which doesn't help. Oh, I just noticed something important. The levels. The levels. So they can't have... Okay, th this, is, uh, this is a lot of details. Okay, well, they for sure can't have Arcanine and Zatu. And they also can't have, like... One of them and two of the level 52. So we're more than likely going to see Raichu or Kangaskhan or even both. Kind of like when I fought the Burglar and they... I think they literally had Typhlosion and Houndoom every single battle. So I'm just in a... I'm expecting Raichu and Kangaskhan. So that leaves two Psychics, which is the Houndoom. That'll cover that. But yeah, I, I need Dawnfan for this for sure. I just don't know where where to go, where to lead with this thing. I think whoever my third Pokemon should start, though. And for some reason, I'm not even joking, I'm actually thinking of Persian. How fast is Kadabra? 136. Hmm, that's pretty fast. Oh, Kadabra's a lot faster than Houndoom. Uh, but who do I start with? Uh, Raikou's a safe pick. I mean, if they have Raichu, we just, you know, swap in a Dawn fan. And then Raikou can just maybe paralyze somebody and just get some damage off. If it's Zatu, that's a really good start. And it should be able to kill Smeargle too. Maybe even Kangaskhan, because I think its special defense is bad. Hmm. Okay. That's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna go Raikou, Houndoom, and Dawn fan. I'm scared. Okay, so they did start with Kangaskhan. Um, uh, I know Kangaskhan can learn Earthquake. This is a physical attacker. So, I'll just go to Dawn Fan, you know, expecting a physical attack, and then I should be able to eat that up no problem, and then retaliate with the Earthquake. Yeah, I kind of expected this, like I said. This Pokemon and Raichu, I would not be surprised if they had both. Dizzy Punch. Oh, this can confuse you now. Oh! Oh, not good. It's not- it doesn't do that much to- you know, Surf? What? Dude, I was afraid of an Earthquake and this thing's going for Surf and Dizzy Punch. Oh my god, Dawn fan, you, you useless piece of garbage. Uh, well... I'm going to Raikou. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna paralyze them with Spark, and they're gonna get paralyzed five times in a row. I can't believe you know Dizzy Punch and Surf. And then you actually confuse me. If they didn't confuse me, I wouldn't have cared. 
Okay, crits, paralyzation, we need some funny stuff to happen. That was not funny. Will it get conf- Oh my god. Mm. Honestly, I, as sick as it is, I think I prefer this thing knowing Dizzy Punch than Body Slam. I just really hate Body Slam. Dude, where's the paralyzed? Where's the crit? Look, that guy confused me. This is not good for me. Okay, well, I need something to happen or Raikou's gonna die right now. Hey. Well, it's unfortunate because Dawn Fan got beat up for basically no reason. Arcanine, huh. So they could have any other Pokemon except Zatu. Uh, uh, that thing's probably faster than me. No, it's not. Please paralyze this thing. Then I can kill it with Earthquake. I did not paralyze it. Oh, it only knows Flame Wheel. Well, I kind of have to go into Houndoom. Because he'll, he'll just outspeed me and kill me with Flame Wheel. We're probably going to lose, but <clears throat> there's a little bit of hope. I don't know who's faster. But I'm going to assume the worst and think that he's faster. No, he has to be. He's level 53. First strike. Oh, uh, well, I, I wish they would just tell me what move they used. I know it was extreme speed, but... For a second there, I thought it was quick attack. Oh yeah, we're gonna lose. I need to crit this next turn for sure. Or it's over. That's why that whole debacle with Kangaskhan really mattered. Because uh, I could have actually brought in uh, a Dawn fan for this guy. Yeah, we lost. But unfortunately, I'm just too low where Flame Wheel will take me out. No, Hound Doom. You will be missed. So it looks like I only have one shot left to defeat this trainer, and I'm really not happy about that. This is the last Pokemon. Watch me live this. Oh man, if I live this, I'm gonna be so mad. It only crit me, so we won't know. <laughs> Uh, but I'm like 99% sure I was gonna die there. Just because my special defense is kind of stinky. Smeargle. Hmm. Oh, yeah, they do have blue paint on their tail. Yes, just as I predicted. I foresaw the expression you have now. Shut up. Oh, well, it's my last chance. Or we gotta. Before we gotta start a whole new video doing the same exact thing. I mean, it wasn't bad, it's just some unexpected events happened to me. Yeah, I'm gonna use the same Pokemon in the same order, everything. Hmm, okay. Um, I'm kind of happy about this, but I'm not gonna hold my breath, because if this thing knows Surf... Wait, no, I should live a Surf, though. I'm used to Raichu killing me in the first game, because, you know, Rhydon's four times a week to it. But Dolphin's only two times, and it's not Stab, so... Let's see what he does. What? No, what? Oh, well, he missed, but... Why does your right you know dynamic punch? They're staying in they're they're actually doing this. They missed, oh my god. That might have been the whole battle right there, thank god. I mean it wouldn't have done any damage, but the confusion, man. I mean you you saw my Dawn fan last turn or last battle. 
Yeah, that's a massive lead. I can't lose this. If I lose this, I'm going to be upsetty spaghetti. Hypno. Well, I literally brought Houndoom just for you. I kind of hope that you go for, like, Psychic or something. But I don't know. I mean, I just saw Raichu use Dynamic Punch. What's going on? What is going on in this economy? Shadow Ball? What? Okay, that's not going to do anything. Dude, the, the AI... The enemies in this game, their movesets, it's crazy compared to the first game. The first game, it actually made sense. Why does Hypno know Shadow Ball? Flinch. I think they did flinch. Nice, nice, beautiful. This is fantastic. They have a quick claw. I hate you. Why doesn't it tell you that? That's such a dumb thing. Like, it's like, oh... It <laughs> They don't tell you that they use extreme speed. They don't tell you that they got a quick claw. The, the game just leaves out important details that they don't need to leave out. Well, at least Hypno's dead. Nice crit. One Pokemon left. There's no way I lose this battle. It could be anybody. I don't care. Bring it on. Dude, I'm going to have to prep for this Master Ball. I, I think I need new Pokemon. Oh, it's just Arcanine. Because I barely got through Ultra Ball. Oh, here it goes. First strike. Oh, what's that? We won't know because they just don't tell us. Bite. Oh, now I'm getting a crit. I don't know what happened last battle. Dawn Fan had to punch himself in the face and... I don't know. We actually didn't really get that unlucky the last battle. I just... I, I don't even want to say I made bad plays. We just didn't have any knowledge on this guy's team. But don't worry, he has a Hypno that knows Shadow Ball, so that's everything you need to know. No, that's not even that bad. That right, you knowing Dynamic Punch, that's horrible. Okay, all I have to do is hit you with an Earthquake. And assuming you don't have a Focus Band, that is over. This whole tournament is Jover, and then we can rest for now. Oh yeah, see, that would have killed me last time like I thought. I did 64 damage. The finishing blow? I think whenever he says the finishing blow, we already know that they're dead. I think that's just what the announcer's programmed to say. Thank god that's finally over. And we're not even done done. Man, Ultra Ball was crazy, dude. Oh, that's right. We're gonna fight different trainers in the Master Ball difficulty. Dude, this was the longest video of my Let's Play. We're coming up on an hour and 20 minutes. You know why? It's because that burglar and... Yeah, literally these last three trainers all beat me. Oh my god. That's why those continues are important. That burglar beat me twice. That snowboarder killed me with a... With a deli bird. What a joke. That deli bird hung on with one HP. All I needed was Dawn Fan or Earthquake. That Flareon, Rapid Spin, that bird. It was, it was over. But no. Well... GG's everyone. If you somehow watch this whole video, you have to like it. You have to. And sub if you haven't already. Okay, time to go to the Bat Cave and get ready. I'll see you then.